This video brought to you by Wind. Wind. Ruining movie shoots since the beginning of time. Hello everybody. Welcome back to this episode of The College One. And uh, today, today is a good day because it's time for celebration. Since we're celebrating the one year anniversary of my diet. Now, I haven't brought this up before or at all, really. Since, you know, it's a personal thing, right? And... I didn't want anyone to worry about me, considering it's my health and it's my decision and what I need to do. I kicked everyone out of it and just let, me, and let myself work through my own issues. Um, so, why did I start this diet? That's the first question. Well, about a year ago, I went in to the doctors because I was sick and you know, they, they weigh you and do all that. And it came out, I weighed to 220 pounds. Um, yeah, that was, that blew my mind. I did not think I was 220 pounds. Um, I thought it was closer to 200, so honestly that's probably a bit of denial on my part. And, and that like just shattered my worldview, as it, you know, as it would if you went in and just find out like, oh, by the way, you're bored, you're, you're, you're 50 pounds more than you really should be, right? Like that's insane news to anyone. So I got home that day, made a plan, and I've been sticking to it for a year. I mean, in all honesty, you should, you should probably not do what I did. Considering I, I didn't talk to my doctor about it, um, I really didn't tell anyone, didn't really go branch out for any support really. Um, maybe, maybe some close friends really just, like I told them if they were wondering one way or another, but I really kind of kept it all inside. It's probably not the best thing. I mean, if you can do it like I did, then that's fine, but it's generally better to have a support group when you're going through a lifestyle change like this, and that's what I did. Uh, so what was the plan? Uh, the plan, well, again, I'd like to reiterate, was not the best plan. Um, I'm not going to lie. The first two weeks, I did a starvation diet, which, you know, I can hear uh, some of you already saying that's literally the worst thing you can do, but I needed that. I was, my eating habits were so far out of whack. My, um, everything, my, my, my personal health was so far out of whack regarding my, my diet and exercise and all that. Like, I needed that really hard kick in the pants to get me going. So those first two weeks, I went from about, honestly, when I did the math, going from about 2,500 calories a day to closer to 1,200 calories a day, and for just for two weeks straight. Um, weirdly enough, those two weeks, I didn't, honestly, didn't feel all that hungry. Probably was the fact that my body was in shock and just didn't know what to do with itself. And then after those first two weeks, and I sent, I went from 1,200 calories to 15 to 1,800. Generally trying to lean towards 1,500, um, which is still fairly very restrictive. But um, I, I needed that. I was I need I needed that really harsh uh, way of doing things. So regarding the diet itself, um, for me, I'm a numbers guy. I like like keeping track of numbers. So what I did is I didn't do any w crazy apps or. Not, not at first. Um, didn't do any. Didn't go out and buy some stupid Fitbit or get a bunch of tracking software on my phone to monitor every iota of my being. No, because that's stupid. Um, what I did it was a lot simpler and a lot cheaper than getting some fancy doodad. It's called, it's called uh, a piece of paper, or like a little notebook and a pencil. You, you use what I did for my weight. Uh, I wrote the weight on a left column. I wrote the date I would check in my weight, which is weekly. And then I wrote, and then I would write how much I had changed from the previous week. So the first week would be 220, and then that Saturday, I think. And then it would be plus minus zero, since no change, that's the starting point. And I would check in every week to make sure I was on progress. And then on a daily basis for calories, um, I really hopped on to the computer and just typed in what, how many calories generally were the things I was eating. And I educated myself. So I was able to keep within some rough estimations of my daily calorie intake without having to resort to micromanaging my lifestyle. It's just that good middle ground, I think, between that really, between like too far of too many numbers and you get lost in the numbers and no accountability, which is where you're gonna relapse. Um, for me, this may not be for everyone, but for me personally, the area I was weakest in for where I was getting most of those calories was for me was in junk food and lot of sugary beverages, not soda per se. There's a dirty little secret out there that a glass of milk has might as well be a glass of soda in terms of the raw, <clears throat> in 
terms of the raw uh, calories. And again, similar to that, glass of orange juice is specifically if it's a tall glass, like I like to enjoy, um, you're gonna get a lot of calories out of that. That surprised me, because you know, everyone, you know how it is. You see all the commercials, and everyone tells you, oh, you gotta drink milk and orange juice, that's good for you. No, no not, not really. Mostly advertising from the uh, evils of the milk industrial complex and the orange industrial complex. I realize all that's why, quite frankly. Still, to uh, this day, I no longer drink orange juice in the morning. No longer drink milk just straight out of the glass. I mean, I'll use it for cooking or for cereal or something like that. But um, I've cut those out just for straight drinking. Um, the next thing uh, that I needed after realizing that sort of the like, carbohydrates, that group was my weakness when it came to putting in a lot of calories. Uh, it was just then after that, portion control. My portions were completely whack. Like, I was like, for example, like, for the carbohydrates thing, it was my, my meals were mostly carbs. And then um, some fruit, and then some meat and vegetable, and then just, and then also quite a bit of fat and oils as well. Um, so the idea is I just cut out those carbs at first. Um, that's basically essentially what I did in that starvation. I cut out all of my carbohydrates. I was eating nothing um, but like lettuce and like really like I was eating nothing but vegetables and meat for two weeks. Um, just cool, cool, toughy, tough one. Um, and then after that. I restructured my portions to be lean more towards vegetables and meats at first because fruits, especially like the really sugary ones, they can have a lot of carbs in them. Um, and then I went to that, keep my diet for a few months. And then after that, I began letting fruits back in. Just recently, I've been letting a lot of carbs back in. But now, since I've lived a year without having to rely on carbs to get calories, I no longer crave them to an extent. I mean, every now and again, yeah. That's why I said that's my weakness. Um, I've restructured my <clears throat> I've restructured my plates and metaphorical plate so that's a lot healthier. There's a lot more nutrients in there, a lot more fillings. So you don't have to eat as much, and living with that reduced calorie intake has essentially reset my my mind and my stomach so that it doesn't want to eat as much and as much and just keep eating and eating and eating. Which that's that that's what's where the real toll takes when you're doing a diet um, is the mental aspect, which is someone like me who's pretty good at you know setting down, setting on a track, and just going for it. I can power through that. Other people may need a little more help with that. Um, now I'm not telling you to do what I did because there is no silver bullet diet. No matter what anyone tells you, no matter what friends or family says, like oh this is the one way to do it. No. What you have to do, you have to figure out which one works for you. Then, you get your diet part, and then you start thinking about exercise. Um, you don't need to do a lot of exercise, you don't, you don't need to go full marathon training. The recommended amount from, act, from hard research is about moderate exercise um, a few days a week. So let's like say like, like a decent walk um, for about 30 minutes a day, five days a week. So if you can get a good walk in every day, or, just that's the recommended though in all honesty like just whatever boosting above your normal is fine I and mean, i was lucky i have a treadmill because you know whew, running outside in the florida heat oh uh, no 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 especially during the summer <clears throat> whew, hey, my florida people know step outside in the florida summer try to do some exercise you're gonna cook so and that was my goal for the day just 30 minutes of exercise i did it every day to sort of try to try again try to lose that weight but then for maintaining it, just, sorry, allergies are really nasty today. Um, just maintain it, which the 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Goodness, I'm so sorry. Oh. <clears throat> and that's how I came, just through diet, exercise, nothing, no weird diets, no weird exercise program. I didn't have to buy anything, no health foods, no special equipment, no weird clothes, nothing you'd see at like two in the morning on the infomercial channel. Just educated, making decisions based off that. Now, honestly, if I were to do this again, I would have consulted my doctor, which she probably definitely should, but not probably definitely should. As of today, I weigh 170 pounds, which is at the higher end of a healthy weight for someone who's my height, which is kind of shocking considering, I mean, I don't have a lot of proof of it, I mean, other than the fact that, you know, like I can see on the scale it says 170 now, but I never took a lot of pictures since I was so self-conscious about my image. Um, still don't, because I'm not, I don't look good in photos. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's kind of amazing that, that in one year's time I've gone from 220 to 170. Hopefully that, uh, that by sharing this, you guys out there, if anyone out there is struggling with weight or um, know someone that's struggling with weight, maybe this, maybe this can help them. That's all for this week's show. See you next week.